All right, so we've keyframed the wings and antenna of our Monarch. So we're going to import it in now and attach it to a motion path and have it fly around our interior. I'm going to go to File, Import, and I'll go out and find my scene file for the Monarch. And there it is. Now I'm going to select one of the wings, hit the up arrow, because if you recall, we had grouped it. And now I'll move it up into the middle of my room, away from the rest of the model. And if I was to just drag through the timeline, you can see that your wings and antennae are still animated according to the keyframes. And there are the keyframes there. So I'm going to scale this down to something a little bit more believable. And I'm going to get my move tool and I'm going to pull it outside the room. Now, once we attach it to this path, uh, it's pretty flexible on how you want the path to go and where you'd like it to go. I'm going to go to my top view now. In my top view, I'm going to go to Create, CV Curve tool, and I'll set it for two. And I'll begin it outside where the butterfly is and just start to draw a path. Now, if you intend to attach or parent a camera to the butterfly so that it would appear as if we are the butterfly or falling close behind, you'll want your path to be somewhat direct. Um, try to refrain from making a real zigzaggy sort of path if that is one of the aspects of your animation. So I'm just going to go and tweak this a bit. And I'm going to go to my perspective view, go to my object mode, select my path, and just pull it out of the floor and put it halfway up the wall in the middle of the room. Now, what I also need to do now is I need to put a placeholder on this path so that I can orient the butterfly the way I want. We're going to use a function that's called uh, animate to path and if I were to attach the butterfly directly to it, it would probably come in sideways or upside down. I wouldn't have any control over writing it in the direction I'd like it to be. So that I'm going to go to Create, and I'm going to choose a locator. And I'm going to hit 4 on the keyboard because just like a light, a locator falls inside the center of the X, Y, and Z axis. You'll see it's a green crosshair. With the locator selected first and the path shift selected, I'm going to hold down the space bar, go to Constrain, Motion Path, and attach to motion path. And if I was to drag through my playback timeline, I'll see now that the locator is following the path. I'm going to go back to the beginning because I kind of set this up so that the butterfly and the locator are very close to one another. Because the next thing I'll want to do is select the entire butterfly, get it as close to that locator as I can, So, and then I'm going to shift select the locator, not the path. So I'll select the butterfly first, shift select the locator, and I'll hit P to parent. So now if I was to play my animation, my butterfly is following the path. Now, it seems to be going pretty fast, and I want to slow that down a bit. So I'll stop. I'll rewind. I'm going to select the path. And I'm going to go over to the channels window and I'm going to click on motion path. And if I click on the word U values, you'll see that the keyframes are at 1 and 2 and 120. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add more frames to my movie. I'm going to make this 400. 
and I'll make this 400 so that I'm looking at all the frames I've introduced, 1 through 400. I'm going to shift and drag across the second keyframe for the animation path and drag that to 400. Now when I play my animation, the butterfly will move much more slowly. In the next tutorial, we're going to introduce cameras.